Give me a little bit insight into your into your dietary habits as far as, you know, do you eat three meals a day or do you eat throughout the day or how does that work? I go to sleep about six in the morning. I usually wake up about 10 and then I'll usually eat something about two and it's at two o'clock it's probably some spaghetti or a casserole or whatever. Or uh, if I had something left over from the night before, if I cooked Asian cuisine and you know, the fried part, I'm crab ragoons and fried rice and Right now, my kick is taco salads. Uh, I'll probably eat again about six or seven, and then it would probably two sandwiches mm -hmm. and, you know, chips. I don't know how to measure it. I just kind of pour it until until my sandwich is gone. <laughs> you know, I eat sure. two yeah, so. right. sure. And a large jar of juice. And you you help her out as far as, as getting food and helping her prepare meals and things like that? Well, I don't help her prepare meals, but I do all of her shopping. Do all her shopping, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. For a patient like Shataka, who was basically bedridden for the last three years, certainly uh, homebound, uh, it's not hard to guess that she has an enabler because somebody else is going out and doing her shopping. Somebody else is buying these things for her that, that she shouldn't be eating. So this is not just changing a mindset with Shataka, it's changing the mindset with all the people around her as well. Uh, we can't just do a little bit of dietary counseling and, and whisk her off to the operating room, right? Mm -hmm. We have to make sure that you are physically prepared, mm -hmm. that you're mentally prepared. Give us an idea of what can you do physically? I can ambulate to the restroom. Okay. That's where I'm going right now. I think before we even talk about surgery, mm -hmm. we gotta get past the bathroom. Shiitake is about as high risk as they come. But to me, it doesn't make any sense to sit and talk about the different types of surgery and the ins and outs of surgery and what we're gonna have to do to get there if she's never even left her house. She doesn't even know she can do that yet. One definite goal would be for you to come see me, mm -hmm. like a regular patient in the office. Okay. You've gotta be able to, to get out of this bed and, move. and on your own power, not an ambulance or anything like mm -hmm. that, come see me in the office, mm -hmm. okay? Because if you can't do that, we're not safe yet. You get to the office, mm -hmm. we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk about surgery. I have not gone out of my house in about three years. It's overwhelming to think about just being able to get up from here and walk outside again, much less making it all the way to his office. It's a big step for me. But our family as a whole has have started this weight loss journey and I don't wanna be left behind and and to watch them move forward without me. But I don't know how I'm gonna to get to the doctor's office.